Hi class, we come to the end of this chapter, Angles and Tangents of Circles. And let's test your basic knowledge on this chapter by doing test yourself. Textbook, page 161. Let's see the first question. The first question asks you to find X and Y. Okay, if you want to find X, see, the X is a butterfly. How can I see the butterfly? See it like this. Okay. Okay. Maybe I need to enlarge this one. Okay. So, whenever you see a full butterfly, that means the angle is the same. So, it's easy for you to see. If here is 40 degree, that means X also 40 degree. That's simple. Next, you need to find Y. Okay. How to find Y? I erase this one first. It's quite disturbing, the butterfly. Okay, now, let's see. Where is the Y? The Y is here. Eh, like that. Y is here. So, now let's see the Y. The Y is in this one. Okay, sorry for my line. It's not quite good. Okay, so, even the picture is like this, but you still can identify this is a quadrilateral 1 2 3 4 so that's mean it's a quadrilateral in a circle so that's mean opposite angle the total of opposite angle is equal to 180 so that's mean here plus here equal to 180 so that's mean banyak is so y equal to 180 minus 30 equal to 50 degree so now we get y equal to 50 x is equal to 40 degree settle that's it and then question number two the diagram on the right shows a circle with center o calculate the value of x okay we need to find the value of x but listen <laughs> listen look at here they give you 10 cm, the arc is 10 cm, and the angle is 50 cm. Let's see the x. The arc of x is 20 cm, that means twice. Twice of this one. So that means if the arc is twice, the angle also twice. So that means x equal to 50 times 2 which is equal to 100 degree settle remember if the arc is twice then the angle is twice if the arc is triple then the angle is triple if the arc is half that means the angle also half next we move to the next question alamak wait for a minute i need to erase this one first this one I explained to my students. Okay. Next. Let's, uh, let's see this questions. Question number three. Question number three. The diagram on the right shows a circle with center O. A, B, C is a tangent to a circle given that angle B, D, E is 60 degree. Okay. We have here 60 degree. What else given? Uh -huh, nothing, nothing <laughs> given. Oh, they tell you ABC is a tangent to a circle. Remember, when it's tangent to a circle, that's mean from here to here is 90 degree. X plus Y is 90 degree. But the question asks you to find what is the value of X, what is the value of Y. Okay, for X, let's see X in this triangle. Remember, a triangle, the total angle is 180. So, we can find the value of x is equal to 180 minus 60 up here minus 90 this angle. So, we get the value of x equal to 30. Whenever, uh, this one we already find the value of x. Here is 30. Next, we can find the value of x because we know that the angle here is 90 degree. That means y 
equal to 90 degree minus 30 degree which is equal to 60 degree settle next move to the question number four okay ah uh, okay sorry question number four it's a cyclic quadrilateral quadrilateral in a circle find the value of x plus y okay to find x this one when you if you remember about cyclic quadrilaterals remember the kite where is the kite the kite is like this okay so opposite the total of opposite angle is 180 so you can find the value of x so x will be 180 minus 80 which is equal to 100 and then y equal to 180 minus 50 which is equal to 130 the questions ask you the total x plus y so x plus y equal to 100 plus 130 and your final answer will be 230 degree remember cyclic quadrilaterals remember the kite okay kite mean opposite angle is equal to 180 degree next question number five okay question number five a circle with center O has two tangents to it. The circle as shown in the diagram. That's mean this one tangent to a circle 90 degree, 90 degree. What is the relationship between angle X and Y? Okay, the questions ask you the relationship X and Y. Let's see. If you see here, this one is a quadrilateral. Even though this quadrilateral is not inside the circle but it's still quadrilaterals if it's quadrilaterals the total angle inside it's 360 so that's mean x plus y plus 90 plus 90 degree equal to 360 so, x plus y equal to 360 minus 180. And last, you get x. Oh. x plus y equal to 180. So, this is the answer. Because we know already here is 90 degree. Here is 90 degree. So, that means this one plus this one equal to 180. But I'm not saying that x is 90, y is 90. Okay. But the angle is, the total angle is 118. Next, question number 6. Question number 6, the diagram on the right show a circle. Given that PQR is a tangent to the circle, PQR is tangent to circle. So, tangent to circle means 90 degree, 90 degree lah. Okay. So, the angle of RQT 36 and the angle of PQW is 50. Calculate the value TSW. Okay, where is the TSW? TSW, let's mark it here. Where is your TSW? Okay, I might take this one. This one is your TSW. You want to find this one. And remember, this is a cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic quadrilaterals, uh, you need to remember the kite. Okay. So, that means in order for you to find the angle of TSW, you need to find the angle of TQW. How to find the angle of TQW? The angle of TQW, which is equal to 180 minus 36 minus 50. Okay, then you get the answer is 94. Okay, so we got here, I just used the yellow color. We get here is 94. Okay. According to the rules of cyclic quadrilaterals, the opposite angle, the total of opposite angle is 180. So, we can find the value, the angle of TSW by taking 180 minus 94. Okay, then we get the answer is 86. Okay, settle. 
think that's it. Thank you for listening.